Hello everyone! So today I have another book review for you. Today I'm going to review A Doc Promise by Nikki Landis. Okay, so this is another paranormal romance, very much like the sort of style of Twilight. So if you like that book, you must pick this one up. So it's a um, fragile woman, although stubborn uh, and resourceful, meeting a vampire strong uh, character that is dark, but obviously instantly falls in love with said woman and uh, they engage in uh, a romantic toing and froing because Andre, who is the, the vampire male, uh, cannot be with the human uh, mare because it's forbidden as always with the human supernatural relationships uh, but he is allowed to seek to have to give her his protections uh, from his um, from his sire's vampire sire Cristo uh, so it starts off that he gets that sort of permission but then Cristo for reasons does not want to let it go any further he tries to convince him to to give it a rest as paranormal romance goes he cannot they fall in love and um, the reason why he needs to protect her in the first place is because she has witnessed her mother's murder um, and the guys who has murdered her is now also wanting to get rid of the rest of the family so they are uh, persistent and but Andre is obviously seeking more vengeance so Mare is more or less trying just to stay alive while Andre wants more he wants vengeance he was you know if someone is hurting his love he wants to make sure that they are put uh, well I'm gonna say behind bars but I think he wants a slightly bit more than that and um, so that is sort of how the story goes. This is a lovely romantic paranormal romance. So it sort of indulges yourself in, in their feelings and and um, Andre obviously caught Mare in a way that I think if you are a woman out there and you um, do not like the way he's doing it, um, you're probably quite the only one. So Nikki has really captured the way that um, you know, it makes you feel good and it makes you embedded in that romance, that you, that, which is sort of what you really want when you're reading a, a, a romance um, story. So um, that's, that's a part that I really enjoyed with this book. And then they go on to uh, a bit of toing and froing with obviously the, the ethics of being with each other and Andre not wanting to hurt mayor in the end because his lifestyle is is a bit rougher than than what she's used to um uh, and yeah the the book the story ends in in a sort of cliffhanger where you like think oh my god the book can't stop here uh, now i want to know more so uh nikki has written as well uh so this is a trilogy with uh, the Nightwalkers series. So she has also Dark Vengeance and Dark Persuasion. Uh, so I'm going to have to jump off on, on to the next one. But uh, yeah, so it left me with a slight book hangover, which apparently is a terminology used when you sort of, even though you finished a book, you sort of keep thinking about the characters afterwards and, and, and wanting to know how, how things are going, even though they're fictional. So, um, I definitely recommend this book for, for anyone who have listened now and think that this sounds uh, very interesting. So, um, I don't know, tell me what you think about the this book, if you've read it or if you have now listened and, and think that you would want to read it, please leave some comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, connect with me, connect with Nikki Landis as well, see what else of her books that she's made that might suit you and um, as always I wish you a very good day. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Bye!